Today we learn different ways to change the speed of your video clips in Premiere Pro. You ready to learn? I'm so happy to welcome you to a new tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. As mentioned in the intro today, we're going to learn how to change the speed of your video clips in the software. First of all, I want to show you a promo filmed in the Philippines a few years back. Have a look and then we'll talk about it. Legacy Gym is an MMA gym and one of the number one beaches in the whole world in the Philippines. Training hard on a fireless. I mean, what, 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 what could you ask for, you know? You might have noticed in the video a few changes of speed in the clips and we're going to talk about why we could change the speed of a clip in Premiere Pro. It's a useful feature to adapt our video to the music track for example so we're going to give a different rhythm to our overall video. Another reason why we use speed ramps or the change of a speed in the video is because we want to maybe focus on a specific action or to enhance and highlight a specific subject. Now let's jump in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you the project of that promo I just showed you so we can work with that. And first of all, we're going to talk about frame rate. That's very important when you want to change the speed of your clips, in particular, if you want to slow down the speed of the clips. Let's have a look at my footage right there. I've got some material at 25 frames per second and some at 50 frames per second. And let's create a sequence together. I'm gonna go in my edit folder and I'm gonna press Command N on the keyboard to create a new sequence and I just call it speed. Just for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm gonna choose 25 frames per second in full HD and click OK. This is a very important step for this type of effect, so for the change of speed. First of all, if you want to slow down some material, you need to make sure your material has been filmed in slow motion. In this, in this case, as I mentioned, I've got some 25 frames per second clips and some filmed at 50 frames per second. Now, as we have created a sequence which has 25 frames per second, it means we cannot slow down the footage filmed at 25 frames per second because we literally don't have the frames to slow it down. But we can do that with the 50 frames per second. And because 50 is double 25, we can slow down the 50 frames per second clip down to half the speed. So I can slow down these clips at 50% of the original speed. Now, if you want to slow down a 25 frames per second clip inside a 25 frames per second sequence, that's not going to work. Let's say you want to play the 25 frames per second clip in the 25 frames per second sequence. It means that if you slow it down at 50%, Premiere will need to create a new frame in between each frame. It's just not going to be a slow motion. It's a repeated frame. So all your video will look strange and not appealing. So don't do that. Don't slow down the material which match the same frame rate of your sequence. Okay, set that, let's actually find out the different ways to change the speed of our clips. I'm gonna take the very first clip I have here, drag it to my sequence, and I'm going to keep the sequence settings I gave to the sequence. So I'm gonna keep it and expand the sequence so you can actually see. Now this clip will run at full speed as it has been filmed originally. So if I play it, boom, Joe Mar is just punching the punch back at real speed. What we want to do is to slow down the first section of this clip until he actually punches the bag. So maybe there. Okay. What I'm going to do is to press C, the cut tool and chop my clip right there. As I want to slow down the first part of the clip, I'm going to slide forward the second part here. And now we're going to find out how to change the speed. So I right click on the first part of the clip the menu will pop up. We go to speed and duration. And here you can change the new speed percentage of your clip. So if I want to make it slower, I will write as a smaller number. And because I want to slow it down at 50%, so half of this speed, I'm just typing 50. And if I press OK, 
Now, my clip doubled its duration, but it slowed down the speed at 50%. And if I play from the beginning, that's now my slow motion. See how slow it is compared to before? What I'm gonna do now is to attach the second part of the clip, and this is what we got. Bang! All right, so that's a really cool effect to play with the rhythm of your soundtrack, for example. Now, quickly, let's say we want to reverse the speed of this clip. We want to play it in reverse. Well, we do the same, right click on the clip, we go to speed and duration, and simply we tick on the reverse option right there. Click OK, and if I play the sequence, Jomar is going back. Okay, I'm gonna undo that, I don't like it. Now, if you wanna learn more about all the video editing process and go in more details about speed ramps as well, go and check my full Adobe Premiere Pro course, which is marked as best seller on Udemy. So I definitely recommend if you're a newbie in video editing or if you're simply transitioning from a different software, go and check it out. He has a lot of good reviews, so it's gonna wait for you. Also, just launched a special offer for June 2021, where I'm gonna offer you the first five sections for free. If you then like it, you can purchase the full course on my website. Also, if you join the full course in June 2021, you have a chance to win one of the wee few goodies you see right there. So don't waste any extra time, go and sign up for the free trial. Link in the description. We're gonna find the second way to slow down a clip. I'm gonna add two different clips to the timeline now. And there you go. And between the second clip and the third, I'm gonna leave a bit of space, okay? Something like that. Now, if we go to the tool panel right here, and we go to this icon, the Ripple Edit Tool, there's a tiny arrow at the bottom right. We want to click on it and hold it and choose the Rate Stretch Tool. Or like Premiere suggests, we simply press R on the keyboard. Now this icon will pop up. There's a couple of arrows facing uh, the opposite direction with a red bar in between. And what we're gonna do is simply going at the end of our clip we click on the right edge, hold it, and drag the clip until it attaches to the next clip. Okay, now something changed, and I'm going to increase the size of my sequence so you can see. The speed of our clip changed, and with this tool, we actually adapt the clip to the new length of the clip. So we are changing the speed in a different way just to fill the gap between the previews and the next clip. Okay, so. If I do it again, you will see the speed changes again. So now it's 128%. If I fill the gap, it's gonna be 69.23. So this is a useful way to change the speed of your clip if you need to actually fill a space between two clips. So Premiere is gonna adapt the speed for you automatically. Now we're gonna find out the third way, which is a bit more complicated, but also the more flexible for us, because we can really play with uh, some of the features and keyframes. I'm gonna take a fourth clip, dragging it down to my timeline, and this time we have James punching the bag. This is real speed. For this option, what we wanna do is to go to the timeline, we right click on our clip and we go to the bottom of the menu, short clip keyframe, and we choose time remapping and we go to speed. Now the rubber band here will change just the rubber band of this specific clip we clicked on. And with this rubber band, we can change actually the speed of our clip, like the other rubber band. So with the opacity, with the volumes, it works the same way. And now we're gonna grab a specific time code on the timeline where we want to change the speed of the clip. Once again, James is punching, bang, right here. Now with the time remapping, we don't have to chop the clip to change the speed as we've done before. We can clip the full clip. I'll quickly show you what's happening if we change the rubber band first. With the selection tool, if we go to the rubber band and we click on it and we drag it up and down, you will see the percentage of our clip is changing. So now it's 233%. And if I let go and play the sequence, okay, we just speeded up the clip uh, which doesn't look great. So I'm going to undo that. I want to slow it down instead. And I'm gonna get to that point we liked right here. What we're gonna do is to press P on the keyboard, which is the pen tool, 
with, which you can actually choose from the tools panel as well, right there. So let's click on it and we're going to create a keyframe. So right there where the playhead is on the timeline, I click on it and you will see a new keyframe has been created on the time remapping line. Now I want to slow down the first part of this clip. So selection tool, press V on your keyboard. We're gonna take the rubber band of the first section of the clip and we're gonna slow it down. So we bring the rubber band down to 50%. Okay, you can be quite detailed there. There you go, 50%. Now if we play the clip, James is slowing down, boom, and then just increasing the speed there. What I wanna do is to show you something else and that's why this way of changing the speed is more uh, detailed and complex as well. Because if you go with the selection tool on the tiny playhead we have created, this playhead has two different sides, the right and the left. And we can move these two sections to create a fade. So the speed of the clip now will not change suddenly but smoothly with a fade and we can try that. But first of all, I'm going to increase the speed of the second part of the clip. So I'm going to 200% because I want to create a very contrasty effect. And I played, bang. Now let's take the second section of the playhead here and drag it to the right. You will see this line going in an oblique way, oblique direction, because we're just creating a, a fade. If we play the timeline. Okay, the clip is changing speed. The clip is changing the speed gradually. So not suddenly, but gradually now. And if we want to play a bit more with it, when James start to punch again, we can slow it down again. Create a new keyframe here. And I'm going to drag the rubber band down again to 50%. So we're going to have this effect. Slow then it's gonna speed up, boom, on the punch and slow down again. And these are the few ways to change the speeds of your clips. I hope it's gonna be helpful. And once again, if you want to learn more about video editing and Adobe Premiere Pro, go and check my course, you won't regret it. I hope the video helped. If it did, hit the subscribe button, don't forget, and the like button. Share the tutorial with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Seems all good times come and go your way Child memories fall up the road